Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, this is Jesse. Welcome to another Black Series action figure review. Today I've got another figure from the new line of Black Series, the new wave, the new style, whatever you want to call it. We have the Camino Clone Trooper. Really liking the look of this guy. Fantastic looking figure. Um, yeah, really excited to see what they're going to do with Clone Troopers going forward. Um, some nice artwork on the side of the box and on the back, of course. Really digging this packaging. And uh, yeah, my last few videos with these figures um, where I've been opening them and cutting every single piece of tape. That's just me literally taking the piss. So <laughs> um, I, was, I just found it laughable. There's so much tape, but it's okay. I'm just going to open it off camera and we'll get a close look at the figure. So stay tuned. All right, here is the figure. What an awesome looking figure it is. He comes with uh, two blasters, the blaster rifle that he's holding, plus the traditional um, DC-15. I think that's DC-15S, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I believe these are exactly the same, whereas the new Stormtroopers had a slight variation to the E-11 blaster. This guy comes with the same blasters we've had in the past. Um, now this is an all-new mold and uh, it looks fantastic with uh, Hasbro have done away with the pin joints so you no longer have those pins on either side of the knee and elbow which is uh, really nice to see aesthetically um, for this particular clone it looks like they've gone with a sort of animated inspired being that it is from the animated series of the Clone Wars um, I believe he showed up in the Fives arc as part of Season 6, The Lost Missions, um, from memory. Um, but yeah, they're definitely going with a sort of, not so much stylized, but uh, the look, because uh, the cl these clones don't have the black band around the top of the head. I just, you know, above the eyes, above the T-visor there, doesn't have that sort of black band. Um, it does exist on the figure, so, you know, if you wanted to realize <laughs> realize him up you could draw the black band on um i think it looks fine without it um we'll see if this is going to be a trend that continues going forward i dare say when we get some clones that you know definitely hit that sort of realistic style we'll get that black band back um but for now it looks like this one and the upcoming 332 second clone aren't going to have it but uh yeah like i said he looks pretty cool um even without it This is really nice matte grey to it. It's not a gloss. Um, it doesn't look painted. Um, it's actually really nicely done. It's like a really, just like I said, like a really nice matte grey um, throughout the figure. The boots are the glossy and the shin guards they are, so that sort of glossy look. Uh, but for the rest of it, it's a very nice matte finish on that grey. We do have the uh, Camino symbol there on each of the shoulders looks good it's just a really nice looking clone um, his articulation is completely updated his ball jointed head ball hinged neck so you get that extra neck joint as the butterfly joint in the elbows and uh, the shoulder bells are actually made of a nice sort of soft plastic and you can unfortunately you can sort of see it will sort of unstick if you pull enough too hard um, so I will just touch that up with a little dab of super glue that's fine um, but what this does for future clones is it allows, you know, um, you know, Hasbro to make different versions of the shoulders. You might have one with an antenna, um, so they can literally just switch out supplementary accessories from the, from the figure's armor. So for example, Commander Cody would have a thing there, um, the same on that side. Um, and you just add bits to the base model of the clone. Uh, but going through the articulation still, we've got the elbows. Now I will just demonstrate. So you see, nice and clean. You still get quite a nice bend. Which I think is reasonably good. It probably doesn't need to bend any more than that. And it does have the wrist joints still, which is nice upper torso joint or underneath the torso that looks really nice under the armor there uh, ball hinged hips which is sort of nicely hidden under the cod piece there 
that sort of armor piece really nicely hidden in the joint there. Um, don't need much more bend in the in the knees for that. So you get a look at the back, nice and seamless, folds nicely. That sort of band does tuck nicely up there, looks fine. And good old ball hinged ankles. So really great articulation for a really great figure. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with clones in the future. Um, I'll be honest, I think just a blank sort of grunt, like a plain white grunt would have been ideal for a first release, but I'll take something different. You know, these guys look great. I like the sort of the gray, um, yeah, all the different gray flashings over the armor, the Camino thing. It just a little bit of variation in the in the in the toy line as well. It's it's really cool, and I'm sure they'll get to the blank one soon. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'll have a little flash pop up at the end. It's not on screen now. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned for some more Star Wars action figure reviews coming real soon. Until then, may the force be with you. Always.